Hey, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So, follow me. Hi, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So I want to get into this idea, is, is Protestantism a heresy? And the short answer is yes. Now, before you get triggered, <laughs> before you get angry in the comments section, look y'all, there's a lot of people I know who are Protestants. I have a lot of friends who are Protestants, people I respect, people who are good people. And in the Catholic context, in the context of the Catholic Church in the United States, I think a good, you know, collaboration with Protestants, particularly around uh, end of life issues and uh, unborn issues, pro life issues, is incredibly important. Like we need to work together to to fight the culture of death. But on the same hand, you know, one of the problems is right now a lot of Catholics, especially in the South, they fall into what I call Christian universalism. That is. A lot of them, they don't, they say, it doesn't matter which Christian church you go to as long as you believe in Jesus Christ. I'm like, no, 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 no. Catholicism teaches that you like need the sacraments. You need to be baptized. You need to receive the Eucharist. You need all some sacraments and you need them. They're necessary for salvation. Now, I know that could be misunderstood, but this is precisely why I would say we need to recognize that Protestantism is a heresy. Like, it's not because they're bad people. It's not because we're, we're mean and we're nasty. And I know we've dropped a lot of that language in recent documents. Um, a lot of times it's because like we want to play nice, but we have to get back to the sense that like, yes, the Catholic church is the fullness of truth and everything in the Catholic faith is necessary for salvation. Now there may be some doctrines that may be hard to, to, to accept, but we're the fullness of truth. And so what, Getting into a little bit, well, what is the roots of the heresy of, of Protestantism? Well, it started in the 16th century, right? So you have the Protestant reformers, and they sought to, quote unquote, purify Christianity. And it was very anti-Catholic movement. That was the whole idea of the Protestant Reformation. But the reality is, is many of their principles, that if you look at what I call historic Christianity, they don't hold up. So the ideas, for example, and there's a lot of theology, I'm not going to cover all of it, but particularly ideas like sola scriptura or the idea that there's no ministerial priesthood, that there's no sacramental priesthood, that there's no, the Eucharist is just a symbol, all these different elements. The reality is, is if you look at early Christianity, if you look at the historic record, many of those views of Protestantism, they really don't pop up until the 16th century or the 17th century. They don't pop up until later. On the other hand, Catholicism is an orthodoxy, the Orthodox Christians. We are what I would call historic Christianity. So if we focus solely on the Bible and we try to argue solely on the Bible, we're not going to get anywhere because we're going to have different interpretations. But if we look how early Christians interpreted the Bible, that's when things start to get interesting. If we look at the first 300 years, how did they interpret the Bible? How did the first 1,000 years interpret the Bible? Guess what you're going to discover? There's the bishop, priests, deacons. There's the seven sacraments. There's the hierarchy. There's a sense of authority. You see it in like the early Christian sources like the Didache. You see it in the early saints, um, the saints of Rome, St. Clement um, in his letter to Rome, whatever it might be, all these different early sources we have point to the, the trueness and the historicity of the Holy Catholic Church. So going from here, I want to kind of flesh it out more and more. I mean, I, I want to maybe create some content, but I will say this, just recognizing Protestantism is a heresy. You need to embrace the fullness of truth within the Catholic Church. This is what we're striving all people to do, not because we're arrogant, not because we're selfish, but because we recognize the truth that we've received. So consider that today.